Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before starting any topic in molecular biology and genetics, I would like to talk about central dogma of molecular biology. So central dogma of molecular biology is the core of molecular biology. Until we understand the central dogma of molecular biology, it will be very difficult for us to understand the other topics in molecular biology. So what is central dogma of molecular biology? Central dogma of molecular biology is the flow of information from DNA to RNA and RNA to protein in different steps is called central dogma of molecular biology. The first step is the DNA replications. So during this process, DNA is replicated into, into another strand of DNA. So this is possible due to DNA polymerase enzyme. And second step is the flow of information from DNA to RNA. So in this step, the genetic information stored in DNA is converted into RNA and this process is governed by the enzyme called RNA polymerase. So if you see in the figure in DNA we have 30 different nucleotides or 30 different base pair. So each base pair has their complementary sequence. So G, complementary for G is C and the complementary for T is A and vice versa. So each strand of the DNA has its own complementary strand. The primary strand runs from five prime to three prime while the secondary strand runs from three prime to five prime. So when it is converted into RNA, there is only one strand of DNA. So the top five prime to three prime strand is being converted into RNA and all the sequence will be same however the T nucleotide is being converted into U so that means thymine is being converted into uracil all other nucleotide will be same and the third step is the flow of information from RNA to protein which is called translation or also called as protein synthesis so in this step each three nucleotide is a codon. So in this figure in RNA, we can see AUG, this is a start codon which codes for methionine and AUG is being converted into methionine. Similarly, CAC is being converted into histidine, AUU is converted into isoleucine, GAG into glutamic acid, GAG into glutamic acid, GAU into aspartic acid, UGU into cysteine, AAG into lysine, AAG into lysine and finally we have UAG as stop codon. So the translation stops at stop codon. So we'll go in all detail in upcoming videos. However, here we are just going to cover the three steps, DNA replication, transcription and translation. Naturally or practically, the information flows from DNA to RNA and RNA to protein. However, in the lab, the information can flow from RNA back to DNA. And this process is called reverse transcription. And this process is governed by the enzyme reverse transcriptase. And also the information can flow from protein back to RNA. And this is not possible naturally or in the lab. However, if we have a protein sequence, then we can get sequence of the RNA and from RNA sequence, we can get DNA sequence. So theoretically, the protein inf information in the protein can flow back to RNA and from RNA back to DNA. And this is possible only theoretically. For example, methionine, the sequence for methionine is AUG. And this can this AUG can be converted converted into DNA sequence which is ATG. So the information can also flow back to DNA from protein. So as a whole, this whole process is called central dogma of molecular biology, which is the flow of information from DNA to RNA to protein, and also the flow of information back to DNA from protein. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content and want to learn more about molecular biology, genetics, genomics and biotechnology, please subscribe to my channel and please like, comment and share in your community. 
I really appreciate all your effort in helping this channel grow. Thank you and see you all in next video.